in any other circumstance, any rational person, you remove politics, you remove power dynamics, you remove alliances out of it. If you see something like that happening, any rational person would be opposed to it. Any rational person would be disgusted by it. And our political system, it is not only defended, it's actively encouraged. What do you make of uh, uh, this kind of jockeying by the Biden administration and members of Congress over this support? And is there anything worth reading into regarding the pausing of uh, ammunition shipments? Yeah, so I don't really necessarily know what to to make of that initial reporting about the Biden administration halting some ammunition. The White House had refused to comment. And again, this was published in Axios, um, and I'm sure it was a Barack Ravid special. So he is... Uh, <laughs> he is... a. Uh, I was joking with my friends, the, uh, the, the Adam Schefter of the, uh, white house basically. So Adam Schefter notoriously copy and paste what agents or teams want out there and, uh, sends out a tweet and is their mouthpiece. And that's what Barak Ravid is. And that's part of why he got an award for journalism at the uh, white house correspondence dinner. The over 100 journalists killed in Gaza, the deadliest conflict um, for for journalists so far. So um, I, I what when Ravid writes something in Axios, it's because the White House wants it out there. So I don't know what to make of the report yet. Um, my most hopeful theory after they passed that massive unconscionable weapons package was that they would use the Leahy law, which basically says you can't provide military aid to a country that is violating human rights or blocking U.S. humanitarian aid, and that they had would trigger that and use that assessment, right, and say, oh, now we've decided Israel has committed human rights violations um, as a way to, like, threaten Netanyahu and, and try to get potentially him to stop this Rafa invasion. But that's my most hopeful reading of the situation. And I've been proven wrong on this multiple times because I thought that there would be an end to this and Biden would eventually, because of the political realities, have to change course. And thus far, he has not done so. Thanks for checking out The Insurgents. What you just heard was a free preview. To get access to the rest of this episode, head on over to insurgentspod.com where you can subscribe for as little as five bucks a month. Your support goes a long way to keeping this show going, and as a thank you, you get an extra episode every week. Insurgentspod.com to learn more.